The year is 1965, and what a year it was. On the national scene, LBJ's Great Society saw the United States escalating into the war in Vietnam. Jolie Namath, later referred to as Broadway Joe, signed a contract as quarterback for the New York Jets. October of 65, Pope Paul VI said mass at Yankee Stadium. The Motown and British invasion of music was really starting to become commonplace in America. Back at Our Lady of Good Counsel, with the boys gone from the high school in June of 1965, there were some noticeable changes at the high school as shown in these photos. Historically, these ladies represent the first graduating class of all girls, Our Lady of Good Counsel, 1966. There seems to be a touch of innocence reflected in these photos. It depicts the ladies and the spirit of Good Counsel as it was at the time. It was also the year that Good Counsel Parish had reached its peak of prosperity, their apex, their pinnacle. This can be based on Mother Rose Aloise's sermon on the loudspeaker of a responsibility for almost 1,250 students, an all-time record enrollment. The city of Newark, however, was about to change in a year and a half or so. And again, so were things to happen at Our Lady of Good Counsel. Continued in its customary fashion at Our Lady of Good Counsel Parish. The high school had said its farewell to the high school boys just a year earlier. Our Lady of Good Counsel High School's first graduating class of all girls commenced in June of 66. However, the noticeable changes were not only conducive to Our Lady of Good Counsel Parish alone. The entire city of Newark, New Jersey was also facing some major social and cultural changes. These changes would start to occur about a year or so later, following the summer that was referred to as the Summer of Love, 1967. That was the year when Thurgood Marshall was appointed as a justice to the United States Supreme Court. Elvis Presley married Priscilla, Expo Soissant Set 1967 in Montreal, Canada became a vivid reality. The Monterey Pop Music Festival took off like a rocket. The Vietnam War under LBJ was escalating big time for the U.S. Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. stated that the war in Vietnam was one of the biggest obstacles to the civil rights movement. Muhammad Ali, formerly known as Cassius Clay, was stripped of his boxing title by the World Boxing Association for refusing induction into the armed forces. In Major League Baseball, the St. Louis Cardinals won the World Series against the Boston Red Sox in seven games. War protests in America were becoming epidemic. And that very same summer of love in July of 67, was interrupted with the Newark riots. The civil unrest that took place in New Jersey's largest city caused within the next six to 18 months of the post newark riot era a mass exodus of residents from the brick city to leave for safer pastures. However, not everyone could leave Newark at that time. People were locked into their working careers. Others owned businesses and homes. Some had children in the local school systems and it just wasn't practical to replant them in other areas. There were also changes in the Forest Hill section of the North Ward of Newark, as well as Our Lady of Good Council Parish. That once predominant Italian and Irish descent populace was no longer existing. The parish of Our Lady of Good Council was now becoming Hispanically dominated. This was seen by the late 1960s as masses at Good Council Church were now being said in both languages of English and Spanish. In 1970, another major change took place on Our Lady of Good Council Parish. Monsignor John Weisbrod passed away, 
and this time his successor would be a priest who by no means was a stranger to the confines of Our Lady of Good Counsel Parish. His name? Father Thomas Smith. Father Smith originally came to Our Lady of Good Counsel Parish in the mid-1940s as a newly ordained priest. This was for his first tour of religious duty under then pastor Father Walter Hennessy. Father Smith was immediately well liked by the parishioners and later fondly recalled by the Our Lady of Good Counsel High School alumni. Father Smith was described as being a cruel and not so strict kind of priest. Fathers seemed to be a part of all the students and their activities. However, it was well known at that time that Father Hennessy was not at all appreciative of the new young priest in his parish of good counsel. It had been said that Hennessy was quite open in his contempt for Father Smith. Now, this is the same Father Hennessy who had built the existing Our Lady of Good Counsel Church. So what exactly was Hennessy's problem with Father Smith? Father Hennessy, on the other hand, was described as having an aloof and prudish acting type persona. It was said that Father Hennessy could have been considered prudish even by today's standards. Whatever the issue, Father Hennessy had vowed to get Father Smith out of Good Council Parish. However, Father Smith would not be leaving Good Council his first time around until 1959. He then left to accept a position as spiritual director at Mount St. Mary's Seminary in Maryland. In the years to follow, Smith had learned to speak fluent Spanish during his years away from Good Counsel. Upon his return to Newark and now to Good Counsel Parish in December of 1970, once again, but this time at the helm of his assigned duties as pastor, Father Thomas Smith surely had a lot on his plate to deal with upon his second return to his first assigned parish as a former rookie priest. If only Hennessy knew, he probably would have gloated. Nevertheless, Father Smith had to face, amongst other problems, a serious declining enrollment from Our Lady of Good Counsel High School. When Father Smith took over his parish in 1970, our Lady of Good Counsel High School had graduated a class of 110 girls. By 1980, 50 or so girls from the same high school. A declining enrollment? I'll say. It was rumored, though, that Father Smith had wanted to bring the boys back to Our Lady of Good Counsel High School from his onset as pastor. It was more likely that Father Smith had recalled a time when girls and boys together had encompassed Our Lady of Good Counsel High School's makeup. But let's face facts. Bringing the boys back to Our Lady of Good Counsel High School would take more than Smith's own authority. After all, this was a decision made by a former pastor and evidently backed by the Archdiocese of North to exclude boys from the dubious honor of attending Our Lady of Good Counsel High School. So what's a pastor to do? The answer finally came in part to Father Smith in 1980, when Essex Catholic, the parochial school of choice by more of the male high school students from the Archdiocese of Newark, announced its closing on Broadway and was now moving to inhabit the former East Orange Catholic High School Girls Building. Essex Catholic, by the way, at that time in 1980, had hit its lowest enrollment rate in its history. When Essex Catholic had finally moved out of Newark, Father Smith then seized this opportunity to make his case a convincing reality for good counsel. By the mere fact that once Essex was no longer in Newark, it was no longer safe for the parish high school boys to be traveling out of Newark City proper to obtain their Catholic education. It was most likely that safety factor and low enrollment that was Smith's best argument that finally convinced the Archdiocese of Newark to finally allow the boys to return to Our Lady of Good Counsel High School. However, it wasn't until September of 1983 when a freshman class of boys entered the campus of Our Lady of Good Counsel High School for the first time in over 18 years. 
the following year another class of boys, and so on and so forth. Almost the exact reversal of what happened in the fall of 1961, when Our Lady of Good Counsel High School said adios to any new high school boys. This was one of the last things that Father Smith had accomplished as pastor before his own death in October of 1983 barely seeing his dream become a reality. From that time on until Our Lady of Good Counsel High School's closing in the first decade of 2000, it continued and remained as a co-educational high school. And just as an after reminder, our Lady of Good Counsel Elementary School closed its doors shortly before the closing of Our Lady of Good Counsel High School. I'd like to say thank you for taking the time to see the history of the Our Lady of Good Counsel schools. My biggest thanks to our wonderful alumni of both Our Lady of Good Counsel High School and Elementary who helped me in whole or in part in making this project become a reality for us. Seeing it this was surely all of us, as we once were, at one time. And I'm Rich Connell. Thank you for joining me for the history of the Our Lady of Good Counsel Schools in Newark, New Jersey.